So now we're multiplying in a different base. So we're going to do base 5 here. I've got 24 base 5 times 23 base 5. And what you're going to do is going to be very similar to normal base 10. So in base 10, if I did 18 times 12, what I do is I take the 2 times 8, give me 16, carry my 1. 2 times 1, and then I add the 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Then before I do 1 times 8, I've got to move it over 1. 1 is in the tens place. So I've got to start my answer in the tens place. I'm going to put this 0 placeholder. And then I can do my multiplication. 1 times 8 and 1 times 1. The very end, I'm going to add 6 plus 0, 3 plus 8, carry my 1, and 1 plus 1. Make sure anytime you're going over to the tens place to multiply, you add a 1, or add a 0, I'm sorry, a 0 placeholder. There was another number here, you have a third row and you'd have two 0 placeholders. That way the first row the first column, the first number there, is lined up vertically with whatever number you're multiplying by. So when we're doing 24 base 5 times 23 base 5, we're going to start off the exact same way. Just keep in mind what numbers are allowed in base 5. You're only allowed 0 through 4 in base 5. 5 symbols, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, always starts at 0. So you're going to do 3 times 4, that's 12. We're not allowed a 12 in base 5, so we've got to do translation, similar to how we, I did a translation chart in addition. So if I've got base 10, and I'm translating to base 5, base 10 to base 5, 0 is always going to be where you start, that's going to be the same, 1 will be the same, 2 will be the same, 3 will be the same, and 4 will be the same. The problem is in base 10, we hit that 5. You're not allowed a 5 in base 5, so that's where you roll over to your 10. No 5s, no 6s, no 7s, no 8s, no 9s. The next viable number is 10. 6 would be 11, 7 would be 12, 8 would be 13, 9 would be 14, 10. You're not allowed a 5, so 14, you can't have a 15, you would go 20 for 10. Now we have 4 times 3, that's 12, and we're doing that in our heads, so that's base 10. So you need 12 in base 10, so we've got to keep on going. So 11 would go to 21, 12 would be 22. So instead of writing 12, we're going to write 22, so put your 2 carry your 2. Then you're going to do 3 times 2 and add the extra 2. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 would be 8. Are we allowed 8 in base 5? Instead we write 13. There's so nowhere to carry the 1 so you just drop it down. Then what we're going to do so we've got to multiply this 2 to everything. So we're going to put a 0 placeholder. Again, that is just your placeholder so that the 2 and the first answer are lined up. If you don't put your placeholder, you will get it wrong. So we've got 2 times 4. It's going to be 8. We're not allowed an 8, so we're going to put the 13 instead. Put your 3, carry your 1. And remember, we're going to add the 1. Then we're going to do 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 would give us 5. Not allowed a 5, instead you're going to use 10. And then your last step is to add, just like we did in base 10. So we're going to add vertically 2 plus 0 is 2. Are we allowed a 2? Yes. 3 plus 3 is 6. 
We're not allowed a six. Instead, we're going to do 11. So we're back to base addition. Put your one, carry your one. Zero plus one plus one is two. We're allowed a two. And one plus nothing is one. We're allowed a one. The last thing that we're missing is our actual base. Don't forget to put your base at the end. Okay. So when you're multiplying, multiply normally in base 10. Use translation chart to switch it to whatever base you're dealing with. If you need to carry, be sure you're adding what you carry to the next piece after you multiply. Once you get to the second digit on the bottom, you're going to need one placeholder to move your answer over to the second digit. If you had a third digit on bottom, you'd need two placeholders to put your answer in the third digit. Once you get both numbers multiplied, add vertically to get your answer. Don't forget your base. Any questions? Send me an email.